I had 42 days to remodel this bathroom, which was my own fault. I had signed us up for this room makeover challenge where they give you six weeks to make over a room. And at the end, if you win, you get $5,000. Spoiler alert, we did not win, but we have an updated bathroom. So that's good, I guess. I'm a big fan of working with what you have if you can, but sometimes you just have to gut everything. And I'm so glad that we did because we found a ton of mold behind the shower. Once everything was clear, it was time to lay new cement backer board over the plywood subfloor and then tile. We only have two bathrooms for our family of five, so I tried to divide the bathroom into sections so that at least part of it was usable for this whole six weeks. For the custom shower, I use Schluter waterproofing system. The shower pan itself is pre-sloped, so as long as you have a flat floor, then it creates the perfect slope for water to drain. And the panels were so lightweight and easy to work with. You do need to use their special mortar and tape to waterproof and seal everything, and they need to do a 24-hour flood test to make sure it's waterproof. Then it was time to tile. I did the walls first with this vertical stack subway tile, and I added these marble shelves. In retrospect, I should have added more shelves because we have a lot of shampoos. <laughs> the shower floor was this mosaic that plays off the vanity top, and then I grouted everything with a white grout. Our new vanity was from Home Depot, but I wanted to have two individual mirrors instead of one huge mirror, so I split the light above it into two lights. Then we were in the final stretch. It was like week five by this point. I did shiplap on the ceiling and changed out the light over the new freestanding tub. I also did some oak floating shelves using pocket holes into studs. The plan for the shower had been to buy a custom glass enclosure, but three days before my deadline for this challenge, the company said it wasn't going to be delivered in time, so I had to come up with some sort of like super quick shower curtain on the fly. I made this one out of copper and mounted it to the ceiling for the meantime. Thankfully, it only had to be up for like a week until the glass got installed. And here's the bathroom all finished. We learned a ton during this remodel and thankfully all the info you ever need is just a click away. More room remodels are planned, so follow along if you'd like to see more DIY.